Here's something you uh, may or may not have seen. This is called an automatic fisher. Okay, you can't, probably can't see the writing on there. It's uh, no, it's a bit faint. But it's a White's Auto Fisher. It's a mechanical fisher, and it's made in Diamond City, Arkansas. Now, if you haven't seen these before, and you've uh, been into survival, preparation, and bushcraft, and all that for a while, I recommend you have a look at them, because what they are is an automatic fishing reel. Now, essentially, you know what it's like. If you want to catch some fish, you've got to sit by the bank all day long, or you've got to put out trot lines and hope you catch anything. Well, this machine here does it all for you. By the loop on the top, you tie it to a stick, a tree, a post on the bank, an overhanging branch, whatever you want. And then you've got the line here. On the end of it, it has a swivel and a snap hook, you see. And you simply attach your, uh, your proper hook to this and then pull out the line. And this thing here is spring-loaded. It's uh, bloody difficult to do one-handed, but you get the idea. All right, now, you pull it out to the length you want, you see, said the actress to the bishop. And then, what you've got here are cutouts. You've got a cutout there with quite a sharp angle on it. You've got a cutout there with quite a flat angle on it. And what happens is, when you pull the line out, and I'm trying to do all this one hand. You've got this arm. You see this arm here? Right, well that arm you pull across and hold there while the reel sets back onto it. Now the line is out and prepared. Let's do that. Oh, you see? See, so line is out and prepared. Imagine that's all the way down into the water. When a fish comes along, he pulls on the line, which pulls that, and as soon as it releases it, like a mouse trap, this whole thing starts to roll back in again, like a big uh, spring-loaded cotton reel. And what happens then is, because it's spring-loaded, it will actually play the fish for you. So it will roll in and out as the fish fights, and eventually the fish will get tired, and this thing will reel it in. It won't pull it out of the water unless it's a really small fish, in which case it probably would pull it straight out of the water anyway. But if it's a fairly large fish, this thing will just keep fighting it for you without any effort on your part at all until the fish tires and then this thing will roll it in until it sits just at the surface of the water. Uh, all you do then is come along, check your lines, check your traps, whatever you're doing, uh, and you take your fish away and then rebait it and reset it. So this is the auto fisher. Uh, sometimes called the hobo's fishing reel or the automatic fisher or the lazy man's catcher. Um, but they're small, as you can see, just go in the palm of your hand nicely, nice and narrow. You can fit two, of these, uh, two or three of these in your backpack without a problem. They weigh, what are they, an ounce or so, nothing really. Uh, but like I said, very simple, spring-loaded piece of gear. Um, two settings, as I said, for either strong... Uh, fish or light fish or maybe the current is strong and you need it to be set a bit stronger whatever it is you can make use of it and I'm sure other than fishing you could probably set it on a, a snare for light animals although of course you don't want the animals biting through your string so the fish are less likely to do that but there you are the auto fisher from whites one of those things that you never thought you needed but now you've seen it I bet you do Alright, the auto fisher. Thanks very much guys, see you later, bye now.